Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to talk about that lovely thing that happens after every Thanksgiving where you feel nice and full and plump, but you still want more for dessert. Sometimes you all feel a little bit like Pudgy Pig. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> now, Pudgy Pig was created by Finster after Rita asked him for a pig capable of consuming all the food on Earth. Now, mind you, that is a pretty smart strategy for Rita, thinking to starve out humanity on Earth, as well as the Rangers, thus winning in the matter of, I don't know, depending on the consumption rate of that pig, probably in the matter of weeks. Now, it would be better if he created multiple versions of the same thing, to get the job done faster rather than just take over Angel Grove and start there. But hey, what do I know about the overall villain strategies besides hindsight? Now, Finster stated the pig was not his best work before Rita sent it to Earth, uh, where he attacks the Angel Grove Youth Center, where a lot of monsters tend to start out their fights. Hey, let's immediately go right to the heart of the matter and attack the Rangers re uh, recreation area. But hey, whatever which was holding a food festival for charity. Now, now with an insatiable appetite, it easily devours and consumes an obscene amount of food there. And it's just incredibly, like just starts like devouring all day, all night long and can, and the Rangers are going like, what the heck is going on here? Like he can literally just see him like just throwing food into his mouth left and right. Now Zordon, after watching a little bit, does the numbers really quick, and he says he'll probably consume all of Earth's food in 48 hours. Now, again, if he had multiple, that number would be shot down probably to allow 12 to 6 hours if they had 5 of them. But hey, what do I know again? Now, eventually they would go to deal battle against the Rangers, and the Pudgy Pig would meet him on a rooftop where he encounters them. Now, they are having a hard time defeating him, mainly because he swallows their power weapons before sending them into a vortex which spits them into, a, into Angel Grove Park unmorphed, which is the first time this kind of really happened. They're going like, what just happened there? Our weapons got devoured. We just got beat up by a big pig, and now we're unmorphed in Angel Grove Park. I hope nobody see this. Now, the Rangers are very, like upset, disgraced, they don't know what to do with their lives, they're going, I, I don't know how we're going to destroy him, we don't have the weapon and technology to take him on, so they plot and start to think around what to do next. That is when they start to observe some of the past battles, and they realize that he doesn't like spicy food, because he doesn't touch it. And they go, I have an idea. And they decide to make a spicy radish. Yes. That is the ultimate weapon to take down all of human uh, to save all of humanity's food supply. Spicy radish. Now this is where they set up a uh, little trap for him. They create a whole arsenal of food, all these nice delicacies, all piled up, completely unmorphed. So they're doing this as themselves rather than as the Power Rangers. And then Trina is holding a spicy radish. Now he comes lured in with a sense of food and puts a radish on a sandwich throws it to him and he, it's like a big look long two foot long sandwich and it lands in his mouth and he eats it up now at first he's okay with it and all of a sudden the, then the spice triggers and right then and there he quickly pukes up all of the food which is kind of disgusting as well as the power weapons and this is causes his sides to cave in because basically he's just like released everything inside of him now, with their power weapons back, and not attempted to clean them off, mind you, so it wasn't very sanitary, they easily start taking down Pudgy Pig with a series of slashes and blasts and anything they can do to take him down. Now, Jason's the one that land the final blow with his power sword and uses his power blast to destroy Pudgy Pig once and for all, who falls flat on his back before exploding. Now, for whatever reason, Riza doesn't actually enlarge him. I think she's. If she would have enlarged him, man, he could have absorbed just the. He could have just ate the city, but whatever. Now, he would have returned again in the island of illusions, where he's assault, uh, where the rangers are assaulted by illusions of different monsters they've already defeated. 
one of these being included as Pudgy Pig. But they disappeared and don't seem to do any harm to anybody. They're more of just scaring the rangers off and like just running the entire time. And they're just always in the distance coming to get them. Now another Pudgy Pig would be created to distract the rangers while Goldar attacks the city as a giant. And this would be taken care of as well. And I believe this one was created out of a real life pig. And they didn't want to hurt him. So they freed him of the spell and it turned him back to normal. So, and then the third time, I do third or fourth time, Pudgy Pig is briefly mentioned by Zack in regards to Lord Zed's own brand of monsters. Where he basically goes in another line and goes, I got a feeling this ain't no Pudgy Pig. Saying that this, these things are much more villainous and destructive rather than what Pudgy Pig was kind of comical on many levels. Now, the first Pudgy Pig was very ravenous and very unsympathetic as a monster. It didn't really talk too much. And it was extremely violent and slap happy. It would just like, it, if you saw its hoof hands, it was just like, like, like flailing around using them as weapons all, most of the time. So it was pretty interesting how he could do this. Now that white vortex I, I mentioned earlier came from his nostrils. And that can demorph rangers and send them flying back to unknown areas, but mainly to the youth center or to the park. Just how much of an unlimited appetite was he? Well, we're not exactly certain. I think his, basically his stomach was a black hole of sorts. It just created to another dimension. So it just triggered a few things. Now, as to how spicy food was able to defeat him, he had to sense food. So he probably had really good oral factory senses in his nose where he can smell any type of food to find it immediately. And the spiciness might have just like triggered that and caused his senses to go haywire. It was actually a legitimate weakness overall. Now, while being a dumb reason to defeat the monster, it was actually a biologically sound argument <laughs> in many levels. So good job there, Rangers. Good job entirely. However, Pudgy Pig didn't only just consume food and the power weapons he also consumed bins and other objects he was consuming the wrappers so he didn't so much taste it it was more yeah it was more of those senses there and i don't think he could probably consume raw garbage at some point having no issue with that rather it wasn't too spicy to cause any type of issue with him or maybe it was just an allergic reaction we'll never know now that is pudgy pig and i know some of you guys feel like pudgy pig after like a good thanksgiving dinner or a really good meal at all, but don't worry, it's only for a limited time and Christmas is coming so that means you'll feel like Pudgy Pig once more after you feel meet you with your family, eating all those great desserts. I'm getting fat already, my goodness. Have a good Thanksgiving guys, may the power protect you always.